Well, I just took this tank apart mostly. There's still a few bits of guppy grass floating around in it. And there's some java fern starts down below. Some of them might be glued to little sticks, but I think they just settled into the mulm. And all that mulm comes from a couple inches of hornwort that was sitting on top of this tank. That's all out and it's in a five gallon bucket of water right now. Let's see what else. There's still some little bitty cherry shrimp in here. Now, there, I took out, I, I, I think about 80, and I'll show you those. There's uh, 18 of them in uh, my fry tray. I took the fry tray apart and put, there was uh, albino crebensis fry and uh, albino cori fry in it. And I put them in a little five gallon tank. And now the larger, about 18, of the red cherry shrimp are sitting in the fry tray because they're going out on Tuesday. Somebody bought them at uh, Jeff Pelham's Aquatics auction last night, which would have been Saturday night. Is that right? Saturday night? Today's Sunday. That's right. Uh, and I, I will show you those shrimp. Let me just, I'm just going to just go straight up here. We can make it this way. Uh, the shrimp are in the fry tray. And there's 18, I gotta add two more to it. And let me take you over to the five gallon where uh, the other shrimp are gonna go. This is the five gallon. And there's the albino cori in the back. I'm sorry, well, he's back there somewhere. Uh, I'm hoping there's more than one, but there's the albino crebensis. And there's also some what look like they're gonna be species looking crebensis. And a little potted bunch of crips that was in the tank that I just took, that I just showed you. A little bit of swasatang and a little chunk of hornwort. And there's some more hornwort on top. And then there's all these shrimp and that glare is not helping, is it? Hang on, let's see what we can do about that. Take the pot out, look straight down. A lot of mulm in there. I'm gonna pour it in mulm and all because uh, the shrimp are used to it and they'll have something to feed on. And actually so will the fry. So they're gonna go right in here. And there's, I, I put some uh, red cherry snails in here, or red cherry. Uh, ram's horn, red ram, or ram's horn snails. They were in the fry tray uh, with the the cori fry and the crevensis fry. That you know, the idea was to keep the tray clean, at least cleaner. It really works. They they do a pretty good job. So here come the shrimp. Let's get this up there. Yep, here come the shrimp. And there's going to be, I think, you know, I just guesstimated about another seventy or so. And the pot is empty and they're all over the place. And I think they'll be all right in here for a while. So I'll let the shrimp and the fry grow out together. And eventually the albino Cory will go back in the house uh, where, where he was spawned. The crebensis, I'll sort that out later. So anyway, that's kind of how that works. And that other tank, did I say it? That one I just showed you this tank, I'm gonna leave the mulm in it, just as it is, the pH is about 7.5. I thought it might get a lot lower with all the stuff, excuse me, thought it might get a lot lower with all the stuff in it, but I am getting an order, at least I'm, I'm, I'm thinking I'm getting an order of, uh, what do they call it? yellow golden back shrimp that I'm gonna put, and I will keep them separate. And I found a few uh, bladder, or, yeah, bladder snails, and I'm trying to get as many of them out as possible. See if I can get a tank here that's completely free. I've got other tanks that are free of bladder snails. I'd like to get them all that way at some point. But anyway, that's kind of the way this one's going. I'm gonna leave a little rock in here. I'll put some more pieces of wood in. That forms that biofilm shrimp, like to feed on that. And uh, I'll probably put another potted plant in here. I've got another uh, larger pot. It's like a five or a six inch terracotta pot full of crips. Maybe I'll drop that in here and uh, and then I'm gonna let guppy grass grow on this for a while. I, I didn't think I'd find as many red cherry shrimp as I did in here. Uh, I'd seen a Keeping Fish Simple video and he was talking about how too much cover, uh, he wasn't getting good shrimp production and, and this tank was totally impacted with the hornwort and guppy grass at one point. Uh, and I figured, well, yeah, likewise. And, and it turns out there was a low, there was, you know, 70 or 80 or 90, and with all these little ones that I will fish out as they get a little bigger, it'll be easier to catch them. Uh, there's probably upwards of 100 uh, red cherry shrimp. And as they mature, they go on my eBay store. So that's that. It's gonna be, it's gonna be a cool tank. I'm looking, to, looking forward to getting those uh, yellow shrimp. 
uh, yellow neocaridina. And uh, like I always say, I appreciate you. I don't always say that. I should say that more. I do appreciate y'all, and thanks for looking.